pleasure of Allah. You're driving on the road, you run across, a, you, you, you run into, across, I don't mean you run over, eh? you run into someone, so to speak. A poor guy standing by the traffic lights with a cup in his hand. You got a nickel, you got a dime, you got a dollar. Because Allah has given you an extra dollar, because Allah has given you some change, you take it out, you put it in the cup for him. Don't you see people do that? But now you're not looking for any returns from that person. You don't even know who the person is. You just like Allah has given me an extra dollar. I got some money in the car. And you know what, my brothers and sisters? You know, the, you always have change. You should always keep change. You know, I, that's a blessed thing. I see nowadays, Moruka, brother Zad. Long ago it used to be an ashtray. Now they got a little pocket on the side. You can keep your coins. Don't just keep the coins to spend at Walmart and at the dollar store. Keep it to give the poor people you meet on the street. Just to put your coins in that car will be a blessing for you. If the intention is to give it to poor people when you meet them on the road. When you meet them on the road, it's easy to wind down the glass. Now not look for your wallet. No, no it's easy. Clicks. Put your hands out. Give it to them. But the point I'm getting at you don't look for rewards from that person. All you know is Allah has given me a dollar. And here is a poor person who needs a dollar. If the person didn't need it, the person will not be there. And I know some of you probably wondering, well, you got guys on drugs who are there. You got people who should get a job who are there. You got people who look healthy and strong that are standing there. We're not giving them. That's not for you and I to judge. The person may look very healthy but could have lost everything they have. The person could look like the person on drugs. But at the end of the day, you know, in Arabic, that person is considered a sa'il. Do you know what is a sa'il? A sa'il is one who asks. And Allah says in the Quran, you must give one who asks. Allahu Akbar. Just because Allah says, so you don't stop at that minute, at that moment to think, who is he? Is he on drugs? Can she work? Can he work? No, you take out the dollar, the 25 cents, you put it in a cup. MashaAllah, Allah gave me that extra. This person, whatever, whoever that person may be, the person is asking for help. Allah, I gave that for your pleasure, for your blessing. You gave me an extra coin in my pocket and I can help someone. MashaAllah. At the end of the day, we're helping ourselves indirectly.